being killed in pain, their energy is being transferred into my body because energy can never be destroyed. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So quantum physics actually helped me eat a plant-based diet because it helped me to see the interconnectedness between everything. And everything is conscious. Now, what's the fourth secret? There have been so many studies. The founding fathers of quantum physics, we're talking about people like Max Planck, Schrodinger. When they started to do early experiments, and we'll go into the experiments a bit later, they found fascinating observations. They saw how we are living in an interactive universe, meaning there is a link between how we observe things to how they actually react. How we observe the universe is what comes back to us. Slow motion this side. Mm. And that's what's helped me along my journey to realize I studied under a mentor called Master Diunov, one of a genius, okay? Einstein learned from him, a Bulgarian master teacher. He said, we live in the world we are thinking of. Now, many experiments in quantum physics have showed how just by observing something, you actually start changing it. And that is immense. So a practical way to apply this into your life, if you wake up and you're feeling very tired, if you just have one positive thought, that is going to send ripples throughout the field and it's going to actually start changing everything around you. Mirror neurons. When you smile, <laughs> I start smiling. When you're happy, I'm happy. When you're sad, I'm sad, right? We affect everything around us. And that's what's helped me along my journey. So when I started to realize that there is a huge link between observer and matter, okay? How you perceive the universe is everything. In fact, it is what creates. It is what creates your reality. Now, let's talk about the fifth secret. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is what it means to you. Now, I was talking to a good friend and what happened was I was saying, yeah, I said something like this. I wonder how they would take it. And she said something that really spoke to me. She said, well, it only matters what it means to you. And this is what quantum physics is showing us when we talk of how we are creating our reality. It doesn't matter what people think of you because the perception you have of yourself is greater than the perception other people have of you. Slow motion this side. It only matters what it means to you. And that has freed me along my journey. It's helped me become my greatest version. Now, number six is that consciousness is real. People like Greg Braden, I used to read his books, and it's fascinating when you realize just if enough people meditate on something, it actually influences a certain event. We are talking about how our beliefs affect our reality. Belief is the program which creates our reality. Our consciousness is real. Harvard studies have showed how just praying for someone who's in another country can actually affect and influence how that person feels. So once again, you are seeing examples of what we call the unified field theory. Okay, we've been told that everything is separate. No, space is just the construct that gives us the illusion that there are separate, that there are separate objects. Slow motion this side. Everything is connected. Consciousness, which is awareness, is real. Number seven. Now let's get into an experiment called the double slit experiment. Now, when I was reading this, 
many years ago, it really spoke to me. I'm going to break it down in the most simple way I can. Now, in quantum physics, they talk of the particle being basically a small part of matter. We're talking about electrons. We're talking particles. And then you've got the wave. Okay. So what actually happened was they had one slit and they fired some particles through it. And when it hit the wall, it was just in a straight line. Then they fired particles in two slits and it was two separate lines, what you would expect, two bands, okay? Then they fired electrons, which are the smallest part of matter, through the two slits and something happened, okay? They got multiple bands on the wall, okay? And they did the same with wave they put it through the two slits and they got multiple bands on the wall, what we call interference patterns. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, why are these interference patterns so essential in helping us become our greatest version? Because they show us how in the subatomic level, in the quantum field, okay, waveform and electrons act very differently from what we think okay and interference patterns is like they do whatever they want meaning the past present future are all happening simultaneously time does not exist and therefore laws can be bent broken changed and electrons are electrons of potentials. Nothing is set in stone. Okay? We can talk of number eight. What I learned, another experiment, is what we call entanglement. Now, entanglement was what they did. Quantum, quantum physicists showed how if you do something to an atom, an electron, okay, in one place... Okay, and you separate the electron, the other electron would do the exact same thing. Okay, two electrons in different places, if you do something to one, it affects the other one, showing us that space doesn't even exist. Okay, and it really blew my mind. When we talk of entanglement, we can start to realize how telekinesis works. Okay, how we can actually read people's minds because everything is entangled. Everything was part of everything else at the beginning of creation. Well, guess what? There is no beginning and there is no end. So entanglement, how I use this is to realize that what I do to you, I'm actually doing to myself. Slow motion this side. Entanglement is that we are never alone. Entanglement shows us in helping us become our greatest version that everything is actually connected. And that's why studies have shown back in the day when soldiers would go off to war, if something happened to them, the mother would feel it instantly and already know the news before it came to her. Entanglement. Okay, so entanglement, you can actually use it to realize how separation is the greatest illusion ever created. Now, number nine is Dr. Emoto talked off what he did, an amazing genius in his work of water, how intention affects water. What he did was he would say certain things to water particles and then freeze them. And then if he said love to a water particle it would form the most amazing crystal if he talked to the water molecules with hate okay they would actually create a very a shape which wasn't pleasing to the eye so if our thoughts do that to water and our body is over 90 percent water imagine what we are doing to our body with our thoughts Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay, so quantum physics is 
impressive to realize that even the water in our body, once again, we are changing it. And that's what sometimes makes someone healthy and someone not healthy by seeing how our thoughts are affecting the water molecules and realizing everything is alive within our body. Everything is conscious and everything is affected by everything else. Now, before we go on to number 10, what I actually found fascinating was someone said this, a quantum physicist said this, that we often talk of how our present Okay, for instance, we have cause and effect. If I throw a ball down and it touches the ground, that's cause and effect, okay? So our present creates a past experience. Now check this out. Quantum physicists are actually telling us how actually the future is actually creating our present experience, okay? The future is already here. So if there wasn't a ground, then I wouldn't be able to throw the ball in the first place. There being a ground, okay, is the reason why I threw the ball. So actually, the future is controlling everything. It's trippy, I know. And we ain't even had breakfast yet, okay? And number 10, what really helped me was to realize this. You see, our concentration, our attention span is between six to 10 seconds per minute. Meaning, uh, we're not paying attention most of the times. Now. In helping ourselves become our greatest version, to tap into the field, what I've discovered is that we have to create more, we have to get a better attention span, okay? Because that's where we start actually, once again, observing and start influencing the field. We start molding reality around us, but it can only be done through attention. So I use meditation to tap into the quantum field. And also, attention is created through intention. And the power of intention is really what quantum physics, quantum mechanics is all about. By even the mere act of observing. That's why quantum experiments are so trippy, because just looking in on an experiment, being part of the experiment actually changes the whole direction of the experiment according to who is doing it. And that's why <laughs> it's one of the most amazing sciences around because you're starting to realize that me being part of it is changing everything, okay? So intention changes everything. Paolo Coelho in the great book, The Alchemist said, when you want something, the whole universe conspires to help you get it. Now, this is simple quantum physics. By just seeing it already there, it is already happening. Because there is no out there, everything is taking place within ourselves. So someone once asked me, do you think that we can change matter? I say we are part of everything we see. So of course we can. And then I say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> and that's how to quantum. Have a beautiful day. We're out here, baby. Infinite world diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you